Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here with how to some product reviews. Today we're getting the septic system pumped and I'm going to show you guys how to install a set of septic system risers. That way you don't have to dig so deep the next time that you get yours serviced. So here's my septic tank lid. It's one of the two that comes on this tank and you have to have a rough idea of where your tank is located to even begin this process. You can see here the uh, little lift bar here has been broken on this one. But I use this metal pry bar to kind of outline the septic tank area. That way I could get a general idea of where the lids are going to be. Um, you can buy these online. This is one that we had made. I'll actually link to one of these in the, in the description below in case you don't have one. But basically what you're going to do is kind of poke around and you can actually hear it once you are tapping on the tank so you'll kind of know where you're at and then that's going to be what allows you to go ahead and make a more general outline of the tank itself and then be able to find the lids on each end that way you're not doing so much digging i'm um, just trying to find the lids which is what you're going to have to do for this video now that i have my outline i can go ahead and dig where i know the lid's going to be at the whole top of this thing is going to be concrete so what you're really looking for is some kind of a metal bar or a hook here as you can see on this end this one's actually intact and so once I've found that, I want to go ahead and dig out um, all the way around it. And that's going to uncover the lid on the other side. All right. After a few test holes here, you can see that we have both lids uncovered. Um, they're square in shape. And we want to go ahead and measure the uh, length diagonally so that we can make sure that the tough tight risers are going to be the right size. You can see here it's right at 27, 27 and a half inches in diagonal. And then here is the system they're going to be installing. Um, they're 24 inches wide but the actual base on it is gonna be 30 inches, so that's gonna be plenty enough room for um, the lids that we're gonna be taking out. It's a three-piece system. There's the lid, here's the body that comes in different widths, and then the base here. So this base is the part that's actually 30 inches wide um, or in diameter, and so that's gonna be what we're gonna lay in here, just like you see here. Um, it's gonna be plenty enough room to uh, close up our system because we're not gonna actually be replacing the concrete lid once we're done with this. This is actually gonna do away with the lid and make it a completely enclosed system. So now that your holes are dug and you've got everything ready to go, what I'm gonna recommend is to get some rainproof wet or dry roof cement. And then this is gonna be what connects the uh, body of your riser to the base. There's a little notch here that you can see. I've got it flipped upside down currently. And we're just gonna go all the way around here with this roof cement and uh, get it to complete bead and then flip it over and then make sure you attach it securely to the base and that's going to keep any kind of gases or water from being able to penetrate into the system. So now we've got both of these two here uh, roof cemented into place. Um, they're good to go. It really doesn't need that much drying time. It'll, it'll dry once you get them buried up um, but either way these two are good to go. And you can see here for reference um, just which way I've got these positioned. They'll only go into this ring one way so you don't really have to worry about messing that up. And although I didn't get any actual footage of them pumping the system, this is the newly cleaned system. Um, there's just a little bit of liquid in the bottom of each tank. Again, these septic tanks are typically uh, two tank systems or two chamber systems rather. It's one full tank with two different chambers. And then here's our baffle with the, uh, with the exit tube that's going to go out into the drain field. And so really what we're going to do is make sure you've dug your holes a little bit wider than the lid itself. And I'll show you guys how to get rid of these lids also later because the uh, company is typically not going to take those. Uh, but go ahead and test fit your septic system riser. Make sure that everything's going to fit. Um, you would have done that earlier with the ring just to make sure the ring fits. And then I've just got some regular cement um, from Lowe's. And we're just going to go ahead and get everything cemented into place. And what I recommend is to go ahead and make sure that you've got a good consistency. Not too wet, not too dry. Um, it's kind of a chilly day here, but you can see here I've got this pretty much right in the perfect consistency. I'm um, just a little bit of liquid. So go ahead and pull out your test fitted uh, septic riser. And then what we're going to do is go all around the circumference here. Uh, we've just got like a little mini shovel and we'll go ahead and put some uh, cement down. And then we're going to go ahead and take our septic system riser, put it right back into place. And even though I can't do this on camera, uh, off camera once I've got this pushed down here I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get some even pressure all the way around um, to make sure everything's settled um, get everything tucked in nice uh, make sure there's some good contact and then go back around just like you see here um, we're going ahead and just scoop some extra shovels full all the way around to make sure that we get a, a good enclosure with the cement and then right here I actually took some gloves and poked it back up underneath to make sure that everything was going to set up well so now that we have the actual riser in place, the next thing to do is to get our lid in place. And you'll see it's got a gasket on the bottom that's going to keep the gases from being able to escape. 
Um, it's got notes here to where to put your safety screw. Um, there's also some little tabs here on the top where you can uh, go ahead and either pre-drill or just drill straight through. I noticed here it said to fill concrete for added safety. I think what they're meaning here is if you could actually fill this whole bottom full of concrete and let it set up, but I'll probably avoid that for this video. I don't know anybody else that does that. I also don't want any concrete chunks to fall out of these little parts here into the septic system itself. Um, so all we're going to do is get our lid in place, and I'm just going to do these four screws here. They zip right in. Uh, it lines up with the actual riser itself. That's definitely not something that you can mess up. You just line it up and go. And that makes it to where you can't actually just lift the lid up. Someone couldn't uh, dig it up and just lift it up. Uh, kids couldn't get into it if it was sticking above ground. Uh, and that's just going to make it that much more safe and secure. And so now I've got the other side to do. I'll just go ahead and repeat the same process. Now this is the tank, the pipe coming from the house. Um, so it's the main side. But we just want to go ahead and do the same process, get everything concreted in, and then we're ready to go. Um, the lids are attached. Um, everything is safe and secure. And now I'll show you how to get rid of your lids here. They're pretty heavy. Just take a few hits with a sledgehammer, and they're going to break apart nicely. Uh, you can just throw them away like this, or just use them as some simple backfill anywhere on your property. And then after that, just go ahead and take some dirt and push it back into place, and you're good to go. Let the grass take over slowly, or uh, if you want, go ahead and put some grass seed down, but that's all you have to do. And then next time, as long as you've marked where your lids are going to be, it's going to be simple to get your tank pumped out. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found some use for it. If you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave those below. Uh, either way, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. All right, peace.